So my new studio space, once again, in my living room is looking amazing so far. And I am genuinely extremely excited to show it off to you guys and talk about the direction that it's headed in the future. But before we get into that, I want to catch up a little bit because I haven't uploaded in a couple of weeks. So I have been moving all the way across the country. My boyfriend and I moved from New York City all the way to sunny California, specifically the Bay Area. My boyfriend flew to the Bay Area to find us an apartment. And while he was there, he unfortunately got COVID. So that meant that I had to do all of the work with packing up all of our stuff, arranging movers, wrapping up furniture, and I spent weeks assembling and filling out box after box, taking down shelves, filling nail holes, scrubbing floors. It was a whole experience, and despite how stressful that entire experience was, Spooky and I landed in California alive and well, and at that point, some stuff had arrived and it was time to begin unpacking. All right, so this wall over here is going to be my future studio workspace. It doesn't look like anything right now, but there's gonna be an L-shaped desk over here. This is our balcony. These sliding doors slide out from the center. I currently have it locked, but my desk is going to be like this basically and then we'll have something over here maybe some shelves above and a little rug in my chair Because I am a full-time artist and YouTuber now, there are two really big parts of my job, art creation and content creation. And I found that it's kind of a tricky balance to be able to craft a space that's very effective at doing both of those things. So I purchased a very large desk from Fully. This is the L-shaped Fully Jarvis desk. It's a standing desk. So having a sit standing desk is really convenient because it means that I can kind of work in whatever way I'm feeling at the moment. This is not sponsored, by the way, though. It could be. Could be. Fully. If you uh, want to roll into my DMs, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no to that. I have really been liking the Fully Jarvis desk so far. It's incredibly solid. It's actually deeper than my previous desk from Ikea, which was like an Ikea countertop on a trestle leg in an Alex store unit, if you remember my old studio. I will say that it was kind of a challenge to assemble. It took the better part of like a day and a half to get everything right especially if you don't configure it exactly the way that they want you to in the instruction manual. You have to kind of reverse engineer some things. And I would highly recommend that you have at least two people around to help you lift and flip the desk if you end up purchasing this. This desk was, of course, definitely an investment, but it is the entire backbone of my office studio space. I'm planning on dividing the workspace into roughly two sections a video editing, filming, computer section for podcast recording and this kind of angle, and then an art station where I have more natural light and can just create really easily. If you look behind me, you can see the hint of the peg and all brush holder that I got off of their Etsy store. It's an heirloom item. Uh, it's solid wood, extremely durable. I've been eyeing this for a long time. Fellow art YouTuber Chelsea Lang has the same thing in her studio and I edit her videos and I've been eyeing that brush holder for months and I just needed an excuse to pick it up. And then I also purchased their like little small desk organizer for my wax pastels and I've been really liking that so far as well. So a lot of this is just investing in really high quality stuff. I'm lucky enough that I can actually afford to do that now. And so I wanted to pick up things that I knew were built to last and that would last me for a long time. And that also were hopefully made out of 
sustainable materials by artisans and individual makers and artists. I'm just so excited to decorate this space and have it look really beautiful and aesthetically pleasing. And I know that once I have this space perfect, it's going to far surpass the space that I had earlier. But that being said, one of the disadvantages of this new space is the lack of natural light. These windows behind me actually face southeast, which would normally be great. But unfortunately, there are a couple of tall buildings right in front of us which block a lot of that view and a lot of that sunlight. Basically, no direct light actually enters this apartment, which is pretty unfortunate. That means that the beautiful golden light that I had in New York City will no longer be possible, but the advantage of that, I guess, or like the flip side, is that I can actually film at almost any time of day because I'll have studio lights and just a more cohesive light setup, and the light that I do have will be more diffused and more easily controlled. So it's not all bad, but it's definitely a little bit of a loss that we won't have that beautiful golden light in the studio anymore. As for the aesthetics of setting up my new workspace, I knew that I wanted it to be really cozy. I wanted it to have a lot of natural materials. I have a a pretty solid kind of like mid-century modern bohemian style when it comes to my interior decor taste. So I kept my Laura Davidson chair. This is the Laura Davidson Soho chair. It's what I have right now for my desk chair. And I also paid some pretty careful attention when setting up the gallery wall for this space. So over the past couple of years, I collected a lot of art. Some of that art will be displayed throughout the apartment, but I also wanted a gallery wall over my desk, just like I had in New York City. Because the light in here is so cold, I wanted the space to feel warm and cozy as much as possible to try and compensate for that really cool lighting, and I will be picking up a variety of lighting sources to add some warmth to the space and increase that lighting whenever possible. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed the first tentative video of setting up my new studio space. I am going to have a blast making this work and I just kind of wanted to say hi check in a little bit I haven't posted in a couple weeks so I wanted to kind of like ease back into it a little bit I found that whenever I take weeks long breaks like this it's always kind of weird to get back into work and remember how I talk to a camera again I think that the next video that I will make will be a Q&A we have passed some pretty insane milestones recently on the channel and so I am really wanting to kind of say thanks to you guys and answer some of your questions. So feel free to leave any questions that you have for me below. If you're interested in seeing the tour of my previous space, go ahead and watch this video here. And with that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.